Hello everyone, and welcome to the Fat Hipster Channel. Today we have yet another beverage to try, and contrary to what they had said a while ago, Coca-Cola is back with another Creations. Um, like three Creations ago they said this was going to be our last one. But apparently they were lying because we now have Coca-Cola Ultimate. And this is a limited edition Coca-Cola Creations. And what flavor is it? It is a plus XP flavor. So drinking this should give me experience points. I might level up by the end of this because I'm going to be trying two regular and zero sugar. Uh, so what is XP plus supposed to taste like? Well, according to Coca-Cola, it says, latest Coca-Cola Creation sparkling beverage to mash make with the shelves. Join as Coca-Cola Creations and League of Legends come together. League of Legends apparently is a game uh, that little kids play and spend all their parents' money on. To unlock Coca-Cola's Ultimate Plus XP flavor, the limited edition flavor made in co-creation with Riot Games takes a recognizable Coca-Cola taste and adds the electrifying taste of Plus XP. Whether gaming or watching, reach out for an ice-cold Coca-Cola Ultimate to celebrate your fandom. Try the Plus XP before the game is over. So, that doesn't tell me anything. Just like most of the Coca-Cola Creations flavors, uh, the descriptions are very uh, not helpful. I did look up some people, other people's opinions, and some people thought it might taste like grenadine syrup, bubblegum flavor, or banana laugh taffy. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get our taste on it. Starting with the Full Sugar Ultimate. Could you tell without the caps which one was the zero sugar and which one was the full sugar? Because they look very, very similar. The cat being black on the Coke Zero one is the thing that I always look out for these days since they've started doing the zero sugar ones with the black caps. First of all, let's give it a smell. Maybe banana. I don't know. Go give it a taste. I can see why the banana Laffy Taffy was <clears throat> what one person said. It does have like a artificial fruit candy type flavor to it. I really think what they've been doing lately with these flavors that really could possibly not have any correlation to the names I give them is the person in the flavor lab is just like going in alphabetical order and being like, okay, bubblegum, banana, whatever. Or maybe they just randomly close their eyes and point. They're like, okay, this, we're going to add like a couple drops of this flavor into our regular Coke batch. It is just a regular dark color. I know, um, I think it was the the, uh, the star flavored one. It had like a more of a clear reddish color to it. So of course, the flavors don't really tell it, or the ingredients don't really tell you anything about what could potentially be in here. If they did add a banana flavor to this, it had to be like a half a drop. Like if you had a regular Coke back to back with this, you'd be like, yeah, there is something there. But what it is, couldn't tell you. All right, let's try the zero sugar version. Sometimes, um, with a different sweetener, you can get, kind of get a different profile of flavor, and it may or may not help you in figuring out what it's supposed to taste like. 
screen as well. This one has less smell than the sugar one. Like absolutely no smell whatsoever. Hmm. Nothing really different besides the sugar in here. Let's give it a taste. Flavor is less prominent in this. The absence of a real sugar sweetness has really affected the flavor profile of the zero sugar version. Whatever like slight banana iness that I detected from the regular version is basically gone from the, the zero sugar version. I don't know if uh, whatever that flavor compound molecule that's in it attaches itself more to sugar, perhaps. Uh, but uh, this, this version is this really bland tasting. That it almost over pronounces the like aspartaminess of it. Um, this one has aspartame and sucralose and asulfame potassium and sodium citrate and sodium benzoate. It just tastes more chemically like this is worse than just plain Coke Zero. Somehow whatever flavoring that's in the ultimate makes the Coke Zero taste worse and i like coke zero so like this is actually actively bad the coke zero version of ultimate wouldn't recommend if you're going to taste this taste it in the regular sugar version uh, at least then whatever flavors that are in it um, don't negatively affect uh, the overall flavor there's a smell again which was not in the, the zero sugar version Excuse me, lots of bubbles. Not great, but not bad. Maybe a slightly banana-y flavored Coke. But overall, uh, I'm not impressed by either one of them. Uh, but the Coke Zero version is actively bad and I would not recommend trying that at all. Stick to regular Coke Zero if you're a, a diet drinker <clears throat> like me. Uh, so I will not be purchasing either one of these again and I don't really recommend uh, anyone really uh, go out of their way to try to find and taste the either. One's actively bad and one's just a little bit different than Coke. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one.